Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So friends, in last video we have seen graphics class in theoretical way. Now in this particular video we are going to see actual implementation, programmatical implementation of a graphics class. This is a small program which we are going to see in which we have just draw a simple string on the frame. Okay. <music> Have a look. As you know that the first thing that we have to do is we have to have a library to draw, and that's why we have java.awt.asterisk library over here. We have imported that uh, all the classes. Here my, I am having a class called as A2 Graphics. In that I am uh, extending frame. So this is the another. We have we have seen two ways to create a frame. So this is the second way of creating the frame. Now in this uh, class, I have given paint method, okay? So public void paint method which is there and which is taking context of graphics. So basically reference of graphics I am using not an object. Graphics is an abstract class. You cannot create object of it but you can make use of reference, okay? That reference will uh, have many methods basically abstract methods which we can make use of so paint method as we already seen paint method is allowing me to have a customization whenever i want to have a customization then that i have to give it inside the paint so when this paint method will get called out so to draw any shape or we, uh, we need a paint method of a component class so paint method which is being there given by component class is refreshing the frame and content automatically so basically frame and with its contents as get, are get refreshed whenever paint method is there but this paint method takes what graphics yeah graphics reference so the signature has to be like this public void paint takes graphics reference reference could be anything so here i have given g so g dot draw string so draw string we have seen many things like draw arc then fill rectangle so many methods we have seen in last video so that we can make use of over here and here we have to provide the inputs so through draw string method the first input is what you want to display so i want to display hello world and at what pixel location what is the starting pixel location where you want to display I mean which y axis and x axis coordinate it should represent so this is x axis 50 y axis 50 at this particular position hello string should come hello world should come then we are having main method main uh, in main method what I have done I have created an object of this class a2 graphics I have reference of frame but you can directly call there are two ways again either you can directly create object of it or you can have frame f you know what is frame f over here as you are extending frame so frame class is your parent most class so you can have a reference of frame which can hold child object okay so here i am having f dot set title and title is graphics example size of the frame is three uh, 300 by 200 and visibility is true so let's check it out what I'm getting. Compile. Let's run this. So have a look over here. This is my frame in that at the position 50 by 50 from 50 from top and 50 from left. Hello string has got printed. Okay. My frame is having size 300 by 200. It is visible and the title is graphics example okay can you directly close the window no so you just have to directly close the application okay so this is the simplest way to how actually we can use a paint method how actually we can use a draw screen method i hope you understood this particular video uh, in further videos we are going to see more methods of a graphics class so do watch those videos also and if you like this video do share and subscribe our channel thank you